a person searches for anything online, they have a task in their mind. They want to accomplish a certain goal. So if you are searching for a term like best um, smartphones for gamers, you have a specific goal in mind to find the best smartphone that has the best uh, gaming performance, best RAM, best processor, especially for gamers, right? So whenever a person is doing uh, a Google search, he has some uh, specific goal in mind he wants to accomplish. So as a blogger in your content, you need to help your target readers accomplish their goals. So if their goal is not achieved with your content, they will show the signs to Google. They will show some behavior uh, analyzing which Google will be able to identify that your content is not fulfilling their goal. So yesterday I have written a more thorough article on this very concept and how to optimize your um, um, content as far as search searcher task accomplishment is concerned. It dives in deep into the topic of searcher task accomplishment. This is the ultimate SEO hack you need to implement right now. So you may have heard about SEO pogo sticking. So I have an image here that denotes it pogo sticking. Okay, so this is the image of pogo sticking. Whenever a person uh, Google for something, he clicks on the first result most of the times. And when he is not satisfied uh, by the answer given by the first result, when his task is not accomplished, he will click on the second result by heading back to the search page where he originally searched it for something. Right? And if the second result also um, does not satisfy his uh, intent or um, help him achieve some task, he will click on the third result. If third result is also not good, he will click on the fourth result and if the fourth result uh, if in the fourth result his uh, uh, task or his intent got satisfied then he gives signal to google that hey this uh, this page has got what i'm looking for right so those signals would be uh, the more on page visit duration a uh, more read uh, read time right and less bounce rate right and not returning back to the search result page and clicking on the other result if he is not clicking back to the search result and clicking on the fifth result it means that the fourth result is the end point for him and it has helped him to accomplish his goal so this is pogo sticking right so in order to avoid pogo sticking by the readers visiting your website you need to adopt something called as searcher task accomplishment so searcher task accomplishment Listen here guys, searcher task accomplishment is the process of optimizing your website content so that it satisfies, uh, satisfies the goal or the task that the reader who is visiting your uh, article have in mind, right? So here um, I have this um, post here, just go through it completely. So I will give you a fair overview about what searcher task accomplishment and pogo sticking is. So perhaps you now got uh, a fair idea about what pogo sticking is. So pogo sticking happens when people click back unsatisfied by the content on your site and it uh, irrelevant result. So when there are any irrelevant result in the search result page and when they go to any page, they will find it irrelevant that they are not finding them helping with their goals. They're clicking back. Right. And um, see, there are six phases in the searcher's journey. Whenever you are searching online, you have six phases, right? The first one is expression of a need. I need a gaming smartphone. That is an expression of a need, right? You express that need in Google, right? And Google identifies your need based on your previous search history or uh, personalized results. It identifies your need using machine learning algorithms and present you the results. So you, you have some underlying goals. Right? Google can identify why you are searching, what you are searching, what's your goal by analyzing your previous browsing history, your online behavior and all those things, you know, personalized search results. It identifies the underlying goals and result uh, and returns you the results that uh, most of the times will help you accomplish your goals. Right. So if you have heard of rank brain, it is the algorithm that helps Google to understand the exact intent behind any keyword. So what exactly is the intent of the keyword? Why it is searched by the user right? Uh, on a personal level? So once Google identify the intent or the reason why you searched what you search for, um, you will evaluate the results returned by Google. So as a searcher, how will you evaluate the results? So once Google returns you the results that it thinks that uh, it aligns with your goals, then you will evaluate seeing the headline of the content, meta description, maybe permalink or the popularity of the website that you're clicking through. Right? So always be make sure that the headline, 
um, should be very attractive and hook people in. It should present the pain problem of what your uh, searchers are suffering from or what your searchers are searching for, right? It should describe um, their goal better than themselves, right, in the title. And also in the meta description, you can include some convincing paragraphs using uh, copywriting that uh, by reading which people or searchers need to feel that, damn, this content is for me, right? So after they evaluate the results, they make a selection. They make a selection based on the trustworthiness of the site, meta description, and all the available data that Google presents in the form of rich snippets or schema markup. Right? They make a selection and hopefully click on your website. Okay, when they click on your website, um, they are in the hope to get their task accomplished. Right, so they have their task or a goal in mind, and your work content needs to address that and help them um, achieve a particular task or reach a particular goal. Yes, these are quite old things with a new name, but a task accomplishment, goal accomplishment is very um, important because uh, earlier it, um, people used to call it a search intent, but here uh, Google helps people to accomplish their goals, right? And so um, after they complete their task right they come across their additional needs right because see uh, when you search for if you're a new blogger you obviously have searched for uh, what is blogging right M many of the times you may search for it what is blogging once you get to know about what is blogging once you accomplish your goal of knowing what is blogging now next you search for how to start a blog and after you know how to start a blog once that goal is accomplished you search for how to uh, find a niche how to find a niche over how to earn money in a fitness niche Right? Those are additional needs. These additional needs are endless. Right? Once one task is accomplished, we have another task in front of us. Right? And perhaps you can see that, right? Just search on Google for how to start a blog and click on any result and just head back to the search engine results page. And you can see the section people also search for. Google detected that you're doing pogo sticking and the intent is not satisfied. And here it has displayed the related searches, right? For example, I searched for how to start a blog here, uh, clicked on this result and went back. Again, Google identified that my intent was not satisfied and it displayed how to create a blog on Blogger instead of WordPress or how to create a blog on Instagram instead of this WordPress or what are the uh, blogging platforms uh, instead of WordPress, right? So um, this is a classic example of uh, Google returning you the um, results in case of pogo sticking relevant results. Right. And um, audience goal research. First, for optimizing your content for searcher task accomplishment, first you need to identify the goals of your audience. If you don't know the goals of your audience, how can you optimize the content on your site for goals? So you need to wear the shoes of your readers and analyze what could be their goals. Right. So it's not that tough. So you can scour the World Wide Web for it. So there's a tool called Answer the Public. So whenever you enter any seed keyword, you will get to um, you will get the questions, the keywords that people are asking when it comes to that seed keyword. So let me show you what I mean. Say in this example, I search for what um, I search for how to start a blog. I can see that some people have the goals of starting a blog for free, right? That is the searcher goal. You can see here, right? How to start a blog and make money, right? And how to start a blog on Facebook how to start a blog for free and make money right and how to start a blog in india how to start a blog in wordpress and how to start a blog on instagram all those things right these are the search intent right you need to first identify the goals of the readers and after getting uh, to know the goals of the readers you need to help uh, readers achieve those goals in your content so you can also uh, browse through the forums reddit quora and as you can see here i've browsed through one reddit thread um, on how to start a blog and one reddit thread is ranking like a uh, best free blogging platform people are looking for free blogging platforms and also never being able to settle in a niche so if i was about to uh, create a blog post on how to start a blog uh, I may need to also add some tips for people on how to start a blogging niche because before starting a blog, people obviously know in what niche they need to start their blog in. They can't just start a blog and then decide the niche, right? So you will get to know the goals or the intent of the readers, their expectations um, when it comes to a specific uh, piece of content by audience goal research. 
So if you are an agency, if you have your own products and services, you can tap into your customer relationship managers uh, like um, Salesforce, Saleflare, right? Whatever CRM that you're using, you can ask your prospects about their goals. You can do email marketing, asking your prospects about their goals, or you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, you know, 30 minutes free consultation to understand deep about your customers and craft your content marketing strategies accordingly. So here, uh, there are certain goals in various uh, places of the funnel, right? You know this classic funnel example. The first one is the awareness stage uh, where you will be converting cold audience, the stranger audience to warm audience um, by provoking interest in them. And after they got uh, interest in your brand, they, they will consider it and they have an intent, they evaluate your product and make a purchase. This is a typical marketing funnel. Right. And see, um, your content marketing or blogging, should uh, the content should uh, align to the stages of the funnel. Say, for example, these eight blog posts. Right. What is blogging? It's an awareness stage. Right. So with this blog post, you will be nurturing the audience who are still in the awareness stage. And after that, benefits of blogging, that is an interest phase. Whenever people uh, understand the benefits of blogging, they likely gain interest in it. Right. And how to earn money blogging? It's an intent. Right. How to earn money? Uh, because people have the intention of earning money blogging, right? If I'm um, creating a blog post on this one, right? So that means that I am fulfilling some intention of my user that is earning money blogging. And what are all the platforms for blogging? So that is evaluation, evaluation of all the available platforms and how to choose a good web host, right? So that is in the evaluation time, F top five best uh, web host that may be a purchase, right? You uh, publish a roundup post on top good web hosting providers. That would be a purchase top WordPress themes and plugins. That's also a purchase and retention like this is optional depending upon uh, whether you are in promoting a recurring affiliate program or your own products and services subscription based membership. So in order to retain your audience, you may need to publish articles like how what to do in the first six months of your blog so that, uh, you know, the chances of people sticking with your uh, blogging funnel will be more. So like this, you need to align uh, your content marketing goals to the stages of the funnel. So how to implement um, goal oriented content on your blog? Because goal oriented content is very important. You can see many of the content marketers are including plenty of screenshots, actionable tips that people can take home right now, right? So they are helping you to accomplish certain goals so that you won't look for any other resource rather than their resource. So that's what I'm also doing this. I'm answering each and every question that people may get about searcher task accomplishment in this gent guide. So detailed content planning is crucial. You need to plan your content beforehand, right? You can't just open up Google Docs and start typing. You need to prepare a content plan, a content outline, and the goals or the pain problems that you need to identify, the questions that you need to answer in your blog post. So detailed content planning is very crucial. So for example, I use a tool called um, Dynalist. Right now I'm using Notion. So uh, Dynalist is also my go-to place for creating blog post outline. It's a free tool. So you can cre create unlimited indentations and hierarchy of your blog post outline. So here you can create your blog post outline and um, you need to research first about the goals of your audience before um, making this outline, creating this outline, make use of answer the public or forums for finding the big frustrations or problems or the goals that uh, the person related to your keyword, the searches related to your keyword or having, right? And you need to publish very in-depth research post. Remember I said about pogo sticking, right? The act of people clicking back and forth, the search results showing um, their um, intent not being uh, satisfied. So you need to publish in-depth research posts so that they get all they wanted inside a single post, right? When they search for something, they need to get all they want uh, regarding that topic in a single post so that they won't refer to the uh, second or uh, third article um, not fulfilled by your article. For example, this searcher task accomplishment. Whenever any person searches for this term on Google and come across my blog post, chances of him returning back to SERPs and just clicking on other result would be less because this article is of very high quality, very well researched and uh, addresses all the questions that uh, may arise in the minds of the readers whenever uh, when it comes to search task accomplishment. So you need to publish in-depth research posts like this on your blog uh, so that people will find your post ultimate resource for their query. They're not referring to any other post. And actionable strategies that they implement right now. When you have actionable strategies for them to implement right now, they will go ahead and implement it, right? Whenever they go ahead and implement it, it signals to Google that their current goal has been accomplished and they're expressing their additional goals. 
their current goal has been accomplished by your content and they're moving ahead it means your content is good right so present actionable strategies for them to uh, shift to the next goal their additional needs and include images and screenshots right you need to split up the long content with images and screenshots so you can use images from pixabay um, their gratis or uh, unsplash there are many sites right you need to include images and also screenshots on your blog post because even if the your blog post has the answer for your searches query they will not read it if you don't have images it's just a, just a huge wall of text right so the human brain processes images 60000 times faster than text and 90% of information transmitted to the brain is visual so if you have visual content on your site um you will fulfill mo most of the goals of your users because um, images fulfill most of the goals of the users when they are looking for certain information that they need and include video embeds because some people some kind of people uh, prefer video content of uh, over text content right because of attention deficiency whatever right if you include video embeds in your blog post the people will stay on your site longer giving a signal to google that your content is helping them accomplish their goals and include the table of content because if your blog post is very long like this people can't actually locate the content which is solving their goal which will solve their goals right that's very important table of content usability perspective it should be there right and with table of content you will also be displaying the site links in google underneath your uh, search engine results that's also an added bonus and have structured data structured data means comparison tables table of content or bullet list numbered list even content boxes block quotes if you have all these elements one thing is you get schema advantage or structured data advantage when it comes to featuring your site on google knowledge graph and another thing is users will find it easy to pinpoint the information that they are looking for if you have structured data on your blog okay so remember i said you need to also address the uh, additional needs of the users so in that case you can create a series of related posts and interlink them for example the classic example would be this so i have these posts on blogging x that are internally linked and related to each other um, down the funnel so for example these seven blog posts are perfect for any new blogger to get their head start in blogging so the first post would be how to choose a blogging niche once he gets a clear idea about how to choose a blogging niche once that goal is satisfied he will start a blog and once he starts a blog he needs to uh, come up with a creative blog name right so perhaps uh, he needs to come up with a blog name before starting a blog so i need to reorder this all right so and after that he need to uh, come up with the good blog tagline and after that he needs to create great blog posts that people love and he need to drive blog traffic right and he need to earn money these are all pillar articles on my blog so like this uh, you can create content uh, targeting the different stages of your funnel accomplish the goals and interlink them to get the advantage right and if you have any existing content right uh, if you are a blogger and have a site you have you may have that question how to uh, you know optimize my existing content for searcher task accomplishment you need to prioritize optimization of the posts that you have on your blog that have decline in organic traffic for specific keywords if for a specific keyword the organic traffic is declining on your site it means that searcher intent or their searcher task is not being accomplished for that keyword so you need to reconsider your content and optimize the content for the specific keyword for which there is a decline in rankings so i highly suggest you to make use of uh, good rank trackers you can use seo power suite's uh, uh, a rank tracker or acu ranker that's what i'm using cloud based rank tracking service right so and also so um, make use of google search console in your google search console there's a section called google uh, sorry search analytics there you will get all the keywords that your site is appearing for how many impressions how many clicks the position in which it is ranking so identify the keywords which have high impressions and have low clicks that means some keywords for which your site is already ranking but people are not clicking on it right and uh, head back head over to google analytics and just pull in the all pages report under behaviors category and uh, sort the uh, landing pages by the ascending order of the average page visit duration and if the page visit duration is less than 30 seconds for any of your content then go ahead to that content and just analyze um why why people are not staying long on your site and just analyze all the top ranking posts for that specific keyword that you have targeted on your poorly performing page and analyze why they are ranking high what goals that they are satisfying of the users just reconsider your topical research and uh, create a fresh new content outline for optimizing 
your uh, uh, poorly engaged blog post.